Oh yeah, there it goes. I don't even smell anything. A little peepee -pee stink. Oh, it's yellow. Look how yellow that is. Oh, that's not good. I don't know. That bought you about a day. Then oh. you need it. Oh boy, I pulled it a little aggressively. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm not messing with mine. At least yours soaks into the rock so you can't see anything. It's not ideal. No, that's gonna firm. As soon as it gets warm out. I know, that's why I moved. That desk over there, it smells. Oh, really? Oh yeah, that's not good. Mad Maddie's been doing some secret black dumping. Not, a, not an ideal situation for you, Michael. Maddie's not grossed out by this kind of thing. He's stepping in his pee-pee water. No worries. Yeah, that's my pee, let me walk through it. Adam will be very pleased when he watches this video to know that Matt's dumping his urine in the yard. Hey there everyone, we are back on site. Another day, this is gonna be another big project day. East Side Kitchens and Baths is here. Uh, Austin, he brought his whole team. Uh, the Waterstone folks are here as well. Uh, Chris Service Plumbing. Of course, Mike and I are here. Uh, we're working through the stuff you saw in the previous episode. Hopefully getting some level of completion done on some of the stuff. We've finished the Waterstone and the Master Bath. Uh, I'm gonna work on, Mike and I are working on some lighting kind of in between, you know, capturing footage with, uh, with the experts that are here. Uh, LZ is gonna stop by today and check in with everybody, show them some of the stuff, some of the progress we've made. And uh, hopefully uh, once we get through today, then Mike and I can start really digging into some of the, uh, some of the finish work on the Lutron stuff. It's pretty complicated because there's lights everywhere and trying to figure out where all the wiring goes. So we're, we're, we're making progress on that. So let's get to work. Chris, what do you got going on here? We got to move. This is the rough end valve for the big faucet. And we need to move it over just a hair. We were going to put it over here before. We are going to put it over here. And now we kind of want it right in here. But there's a stud and another pipe right in here where we needed this to be. So we're just going to move it over right about there. Well. Closer to the wall, of course, but. Easier said than done. Yeah, yeah. Because it's so tight. That tub sits right here, and that faucet's pretty stout. So, to get it right where we need it to be, this needed to be over about a half inch, three quarters of an inch. Brass fittings here, and then Upanor into here, then we're gonna do something like this come around and back into this one. So it's gonna sit like this actually. So that's the challenge for today. I'm gonna to get this tub faucet in. Temporarily set the tub, because once this is in, Mike's gonna box it in. He's gonna build a box around this to sit. We didn't wanna set this into the floor, because it's a wet room. Uh, we didn't want any moisture, mold, or mildew places for it to accumulate. So he's gonna box this in, it'll tile in, it'll be just like a pedestal. Um, it's just to cover it, it has no support or anything. Everything's supported by this valve. And, uh, one more faucet, and the master bath will be done. And then once the water's on and everything, then we'll, we'll do all our silicone around everything after the water's turned on and everything's been tested. Hey Mike, I figured out my specialty. What is it? Putting on blank covers. <laughs> I like that. That's <laughs> good. 
These guys over here, see, this is my specialty. Blank cover, blank cover. I'm good at that. I'm gonna do all of them. There's only like eight of them in the whole house, but. <laughs> hey, each one takes a couple minutes, so. Yeah, I mean, at 16 minutes, I can utilize uh, doing something less important. Lots of sconces. No light bulbs in them. Gotta get me some, gotta get me the light bulbs. All right, let me take my earmuffs off so I can hear you. So this is going for the, the entryway here. So I've got, I took, I took the, uh, the lowering mechanism off. Uh, the cable's still in play and I saved all the parts just in case they ever want to go back. But this is going to hang low enough that with a, just a 12 foot ladder, you can change the bulbs. So we opted to, uh, to eliminate that. It's because it's a pain to adapt these fixtures to um, that contraption. So you're just simplifying here? Yeah, just simplifying it. So by doing it, now it's just a straight electrical box and everything will be hidden with the cover plate. I don't have to drill the cover plate. I don't have to drill it out like I did with the other one. Now the other one, we didn't have a choice because there's no way to reach that. Even with an extension ladder, there's nothing, lean the, there's nothing to lean the extension ladder up against. So. I'm doing the final, final open or fitting. So your dual 90s allowed you to move it a little closer to the wall to get it centered up. Yep. Nice, smart. It's called a swing joint. Yeah. So that's, uh, it's in. So now I'm just gonna, that, that wood um, triangular trim piece that they had on there before, I was able to reuse it. So I'm just gonna caulk around that. And then painters, when they come, actually might, I might just not wait for them. I might just paint it myself. <laughs> So anyway, that's that's all that's left to do now. I have to get it powered up. Figure out which uh, which switch was for, for that light, and then we'll try it out. If you're ever ordering cabinets, don't do white interiors. It's not the best choice. I mean, they have they have a choice of black, white, and maple. Yeah, I think you always want to do the maple yeah. veneer. Yeah, you know, it, so it just too. looks looks better. I agree. But the drawers, all the internals of the drawers are all maple, so you're not we're not going to really have a whole lot of exposure, but. On the, the doored cabinets, you'll you'll be interfacing with white. Not not my favorite. Ooh, this one's in. Okay, cool. Yeah. That gives us enough to trim this out. Yep. I'm gonna come right into that. Yep. And then this will leave we'll leave all the shelves out of this likely, and that's where you put all your cookie sheets and stuff. More drawers. <laughs> Shoot them. I know, that's what we're saying. It's a lot of storage. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cool. I'll be able to do like the Hayfla Spice rack and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, that's a good idea. There you uh, go. I'm going to try to convince them to give me a little budget to uh, get them. I'll get them like all, like I didn't help. Organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it'll all I go. think they are into like, it seems like they're into health food somewhat. They, they want like. Adam's not. Well, no. Colette is. Yeah, Colette is. Yeah, yeah. And by proxy, he is because if she's cooking at all. She, yeah, she's not cooking squat. Neither one of them. That's what we're going to try to teach them. I told them that. We're... It's way more efficient if you shop and cook. Way quicker. You have a lot more time. It doesn't take very much time to cook a meal either. Right. It takes less time than that than driving to Titusville or Oviedo to eat. Yeah, or yeah. waiting on Uber Eats all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. shoot, I don't ever eat sitting down. I just eat standing up. Always, every meal. That's a fact. I eat my darn steak standing up. You do. I have witnessed it. <laughs> I know. If, if Ruth's Chris had a standing bar where you could eat, you probably oh, it'd be way better. Yeah, yeah. just get it, have it. I can order it, show up at the bar, eat it, go. I'm ready. Let's go. Yeah, we're ready. All right, Trey, you ready? We're ready. Tell him I wish I had white gloves. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's a uh, substantial piece there. Substantial piece. Chris, right? His name's Chris. Sir. Another little tip. 
The screwdriver stops? Mm -hmm. They're not screwdriver stops. There's no slot for this unless I'm blind. No, there's not. No. So you can't use a screwdriver to turn them on off. And this, this is, this is going to be super tight. Every time. You know, old man, if you push the button on the side, it stops ringing. <laughs> it does? Yeah. If you press either of the buttons, when it's ringing, you just go like this. It doesn't hang up. It just stops ringing. Bing. Okay, We're going to have to talk about that. Yeah. You're disappointed. I really do believe the Samsung is a superior phone. No, you've lost your mind. Have you had one? No. I, well, I would then, never have how one. How do you know? <laughs> I know. That's, oh, that's your on off. Yeah, it's a show off those, which is a very nice feature. Mm. I wish everybody used mail, but they don't. So a lot of times you shut the whole building down in order to make a simple repair. Yeah. I was wondering why they had a cap for it. Now I get it. You you know installed it, and the water was on. I do like the FaceTime. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm sure the Samsung has it. Also, somebody else has to have the same phone. Yeah, it has some janky knockoff version. Yep. Yeah. Came bit. first, you know. What? Android or Apple? Apple, I'd imagine. I don't care. That goes against all of Sas Garage principles. We normally just do it and then realize I did it all wrong. I want to make sure we don't need any grease or how it pops in. Let's go ahead and set it on there. When you set it, I'm going to guide you. It has to go down straight. You get on level. I don't want to. I don't want a tub. I'm going to put a tub in just. I'm going to put this over my cold plunge. That's not going to do. Hey, I um, want to make mention of a couple of things for you guys. Uh, one, LZ is going to be on the podcast live stream 6 p.m. on this Friday. And uh, the other thing is, actually, they won't see this by then anyway, will they? <laughs> the inside the hex. Uh, if, well, yeah, I guess they'll be a little behind, but uh, I'll put uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, while I'm out of town, so uh, I'm gonna capture an Inside the Hex day, so I'll do behind the scenes stuff. So uh, I know many of you really love this, this, uh, this whole project. I did the weekend on Inside the Hex, and I'm gonna do uh, tomorrow's footage on Inside the Hex. So it'd be super helpful if I feel like if you found great value in this project and you like the in-between conversation, many of you have, uh, go to obsessedgarage.com, go to the For the Obsessed section. We'll put a link in the description. It'll take you right to the Inside the Hex page. Uh, it's eight bucks a month. Uh, you can pay 60 bucks for the year if you wanted to. And that's where I share a lot of the business stuff, a lot of the inside stuff of my life uh, and vlogging, you know, how, how things are going on. And we'll do tomorrow's footage on Inside the Hex and then we'll be back to a regular schedule. So 6 p.m. this week with LZ though, that will be on the main channel. This thing is sick. Should I get in here and test it out? Let's see. Let's see how this will go. <laughs> That's cool. You can fill the tub up. Theoretically, you can fill the tub up before you got in here. I can reach the handles nicely. I can also reach the handles from outside. Our diverter is here. The switch between shower head. You can bring the shower head however you want. <laughs> it's cool. You can do a little. <laughs> it's freaking cool. I love it. I don't even want it. I, this is the thing I don't want to use. Um, I just want to have it. You know? You just want to look at it. Let me check. I don't want to look now. 
Oh yeah, it's centered, nice. It's got your control here, we're gonna have our glass. All coming together, people, all coming together. I'm gonna turn the water on and uh, just make a lot of noise if you see water. <laughs> Am I supposed to keep it to myself? No. Oh. Well, you could, but you're cleaning it up then. Open this cabin just in case. I don't foresee anything, but. All right, you wanna watch that bathroom and the water heater. I got it. Waterstone's watching the master. Trevor's up top in here. I'm gonna turn it on just for a little bit. We're gonna get air and then we'll flush it out upstairs. We'll take some risers. There's no drainage here. Look at this. I don't hear anything. Feels good. Let's go check. Just check everything, nothing there. It's good. Nice. I'm gonna go flush the air out up top. So you're just doing that? Yeah, get the air out, flush it out, and let Rob know to turn it on. This is the mixing valve right here. We have cold water coming into the heater and cold water feeding into the mixing valve from around here. Hold on, hold on. So we, and then hot water comes out of the heater into the mixing valve. So it takes hot and cold, just like a single handle faucet or your shower single handle and uh, mixes hot and cold together to make your temperature. So what we do is we set this heater at 140 degrees, which is 20 degrees hotter than most water heaters for two reasons. Uh, one, you're getting a lot, you're only mixing down to 120 coming out of here. So you have a lot more hot water available to you. So typically you'd have 120 coming out of the heater and when it runs out, it runs out. Now we have 140, we're toning it down, so we're using less of the hot water to make the same temperature. And then the other thing that does is it kills any bacteria inside the heater, inside the tank. 140, like Legionnaire's disease, can't live in 140. That's the magic number. Nice. So what's next after this? We're going to turn that shower on. <laughs> That's the whole reason I did this. We're going to turn that shower on. Yeah. That's a lot of, a lot of water. It is. A lot of water. That would be close there and then, yeah. I'm like, water's running somewhere. It's I feel running. it. I feel water yeah. running. <laughs> yeah, it was on. Here, let me turn it back on. You want the water, you want this off? No, no, you're good. You're fine. You just... I thought there yeah. was a leak somewhere. I could feel it running through the pipes. But go ahead, yeah, you can go for it. Oh. Yeah, there's still air gotta work out too. Yeah. But it's flowing more than it was. Man, that's a lot of water. That's mm -hmm. sweet. That works better than any rain shower I've seen. I would not use that one. <laughs> I use this yeah, one all the time. I'd always be under the rain shower. That's still a lot of air. Yeah. That, that works really well. Yeah. Most of them just rain on you, you know, there's no rain force. Deck. That's like torrential downpour. It's like, that is, that's, that's like a, that's a mon storm. That's monsoon water. I like it. Ship me one. What color you want? <laughs> Titanium. <Definitely>. Carbon fiber. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll work. And then keep walking around. Just go check everything. Just do it twice. Just make sure there's no little tiny drips or anything. Let me sneak in here, Trevor. Yep. If I can get to this. How many grown men can we have in one bathroom? <laughs> Pretty good. That's a lot of water. Yeah. Well, you can time it. One looks good. I'm surprised. Yeah, well, the guy that does the water treatment here said it was better than what everyone was thinking. So, I mean, it's crystal clear That's and clear. clean. There's no bacteria. That's clear water. Yeah, it's good. And the mineral content isn't as high as, as one yeah. thought either. No leaks? Good. Excellent. 
Makes me happy. I had one, one leak. My leak. The toilet. Say it's not so. Yeah. Say it's not so, Chris. I'd, I'd do it for, you know, production value. That's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's like, yeah. it's like we'll they do uh, all in all these uh, <laughs> renovations. Oh, we have major catastrophe. Yeah. Crisis averted. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's a good job. You really understand how to, well, how to produce content. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chris is a paid actor, actually. Yes, he, he doesn't actually plumb. <laughs> He's actually, he lives in LA area. He's, <laughs> you've probably seen him on Tool Time. So we talked about this yesterday, but getting the, we want a countertop overhang. We want this to be a big bar top. Uh, and so we want our countertop to end here. Uh, and so they cut these to 12 inch depth uh, to uh, give us that, that space. And so we'll have a countertop overhang and then bar stools that run across. Polishing off a little charcuterie board here. Mm -hmm. Looking at our kitchen. Looks pretty good. She's gonna be making some food in here instead of eating snacks. Mm -hmm. It's great. See my sconces? All right, Mike. Um, 12. 12 chances, lots of solutions. Well, if we're, are we adding the one that's over the... Oh, yeah. I got it. Well, then there's four more in the uh, in the bathroom, the well, master bath. So really there's... 16. Oh, yeah. 12, 16. Yep. I guess you can count the uh, those other two. Those are vanity lights, not really sconces. Oh, yeah. Oh, I put the other one up on the um, sink up there. Okay. The one's gonna be a little off-centered. I know. The last couple of DMFs, do you point these up or down? Did you have them pointed down? Yeah, like that. Okay. Yep, just like that. Well, was it an inch and a half to? An inch uh, and three eighths to the bottom edge. Uh, 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 <laughs> what did you do? I did inch and a half to where I put the screw. Oh no, it's inch. It's a... So maybe if I flip them around. Yeah. We'll see. Buttoning things up, Mike. Buttoning it up. Yeah. Seeing all the last details that need to be done. Yeah. In between meetings. Lots of meetings. They call me the finisher. I wanted to at least do one DMF light in here. You know, I had that one failure a couple days ago. And I'm gonna get one of them in. I did about 60 of them at my house. Precise. I still got it, Mike. And it works. That's even better. Might as well do the laundry room while we're at it. Really need to carry a knife. I'll put the bottom of it at inch and a half. Inch and a half ish. Uh, it worked pretty well the way I did it, so maybe I should just do it the same. A lot happening. A lot happening. Yeah. Yep. So. The ceiling looks pretty cool. That's that's. You met Austin. Did yeah, you meet him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah, he went there and picked everything out. I really sick. Like yeah, they're sick, huh? Well, what's funny is when we picked them out, the, they're like this big on a piece of paper. So like to it's see, hard. like I don't know. How you don't know, yeah. That, that's a, that's the problem with lighting, you know. Unless you go to a store. Yeah. And then trapdoor is there. 
secret door. This is where the bench is going to go. Right. Countertop's going to overhang by, see that line on the wall? The countertop's going to hang out over here, so you have bar stools there. And then, let's go, oh, the fan. I think the fan is the coolest part. Yeah. I like how each bathroom has its own vibe. And then this is the Panasonic Whisper Quiet. So the fan's on right now. That's pretty cool. 130 CFM, yeah, yeah, way cool. You see that? Mm. The fan is on. Those are called Panasonic Whisper Quiets. Well, what if you want the noise? You know, is it just I know, just, I know. <laughs> but bring a sound machine in there. Sound machine. Water heater's in, I know you're excited about that. Oh my gosh, the lights! <gasps> I love it! I already saw that one. Yeah. And then the wands on the wall that'll go over the. And then wow. in your, I know you care about light switches. Yeah, the switches are sweet. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Demo. What? I so, um, so when a switch is off, so you can set them to whatever you want. So see how there's all these different lines, mm -hmm. right? And so what I normally set them is the 30% dim. So if I tap once, it takes it to 30% or 70%. Mm -hmm. If I want to go full bright, I double tap. And so, and then these, this will be the same memory. So whatever we set it. So let's say you prefer to have it a little dimmer. So you want to go here. It'll remember whatever your last setting was. So I turn it off. I go single tap. It goes to you know, 60%. That's nice. And then the other thing is you'll be able to say, you know, hey Siri, turn off the lights in my master bedroom. And it'll turn them off. She's stoked so. about that. Yeah. And then we're also going to have a pedestal on your nightstands where you just sit, like let's say, some of the lights you left on upstairs, you just hit off. Or you could say, hey Siri, turn off all the, all the lights. So you'll be able to do all, the, all those combinations. Uh, never, never thought I'd want music in my closet, but. <laughs> I didn't either. But what do you mean? Wait, I'm coming like, from it's a guy cool. that walks around with his phone playing music in the morning. You don't know. Yeah. He's just carrying his music. So it'll be, just, it'll be just as easy as that, only throughout the house. Cool. It's gonna be sick. So I'm gonna put this, this mirror was just in the garage, some, you know, some mirror that you had. It's kind of half broken, but it's gonna match perfectly. It'll go right here. Waterstone is in. Look at that. Hub filler. What? I want to feel oh it. Yes. Is it hooked up? Wait. Uh, <laughs> it's working. So, wait, wait, so this is temperature? That's yeah. temperature. Okay, so I can turn this on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Look at what. That's temperature. The other one's on off. And then the top one is diverter to convert, you know, to divert from rain to oh, regular. This is exposed too. It's so cool. That is so cool. Yeah. Wow. And that's all one hunk of metal, you know, hunk of brass. So this turns it on, this switches between... Diverter, yep. So I can move this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, yes. and then that oh sucker. Oh my gosh, this is elaborate. Look at this. Yeah, it's crazy. So wait, there's more controls on this one. Yeah, to... so you have yeah, hot, co hot, 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 cold on the bottom, you know, the cold's on the left, Chris. Hot's on the left, yeah. cold's on the no, right. Right. Your diverter is that wheel on the about right above your hand there. This, this? that part, yep. Okay. That's Turn the it. just a just a hair, yep. That's a little bit more. I want to see that's it. it. So that yeah. switches to this. We have, we have water, Turn Chris. It, back, it switches to this. Yeah, you can turn it on. Yeah, you can turn it on. Step back. This is powerful. Which is one's it? on? Which one? Which one's on? Why is the bucket in there? Well, the drain's not hooked up yet. Okay. Mike has some stuff to do, but go ahead. Oh. Well, there you yeah. go. Yeah, turn the the spout on. Okay. All the way. Put it all the way out. Yo. Do not leave when you turn that on. You will fill this up. I do that. That's, yeah, this will fill up super It'll probably close. take two, three minutes. Hey, it'll just run to the shower. No big deal. Is, that, is there more water pressure than we used to have? I think so. Oh, yeah. What's the trick? We, yeah, we got rid of all the calcium and stuff. Yeah. Wow, I yeah, just love the way this looks. Water pressure. You're saying it won't be rusty anymore, like old no. water? No. The no. water is actually, I was surprised. It's yeah. really, it's decent. Yeah. Very decent. This looks incredible. I just like how everything feels. Mm. It's like a decoration. And then it matches here, too. And this is similar to what we'll have in the kitchen as well? Uh, yes. So, so it's a little, it's a different line. Mm -hmm. But, That's um. Cool. I like that it matches. You, you see it's three spoke, too, right? Yeah, tri spoke game. Yeah, yeah, and then the, this, the uh, drain matches. Oh, that's, that's cool. Really cool. So that's just a pop up that's thing. It, yeah. Yep. Just pop it up, pop yep. it down. What do you guys think about this? Do we want this or no? What? What? This. What, you think it kind of eats a lot of counter space? 
Well, I know it does, but... Well, then that right. answer's that. All like, right. what else would be there? Nothing? Yeah, I mean, way better. I'd probably but have whatever. organizers that are ugly, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm with you, Matt. Yeah. On the... So the only... The, uh, yeah. Like, it's, all the organizers that are on the sink right now, like, on your side and my mm -hmm. side, would just stuff. So I feel like one, one way to make this work a little bit better, but then Drawers. it gets cluttered, is putting something here, yeah. on the side, yeah. or raise it up. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you have the counter space back here. Yeah, I think that would look kind of weird. Yeah. You want to try it out? Step back. Yeah, I want to. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, this way. I want to see the the ring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll like that one. Yeah. Puzzle on the other one. There you go. Hold it, you can. I never thought I'd be so amused by playing that. And then manage us also. We have the soft massage, hard massage. Yeah. Like yeah. Said. So that is, Chris, what was our number? The, uh, the, the list price on everything is right around $31,000. Okay. Um, and For those two? And what people can expect to pay right around $24,000. Okay. For everything we have set up here. And call it, I don't know if you saw this, but you actually can pull this out and you have for articulation as well. I did see it. I didn't know that it goes up and down like that. It's yep. spring loaded yeah. too. That's actually what this is. It's a big spring that's in here, so it'll actually pull it back up. Wow. So that's you've got awesome. plenty of room to move it around. It all articulates. So. That's so nice. It's almost like a, a boom hole. Oh, yeah, and even this. Yep. It goes like all the way right here. Yeah. Yep, and you can adjust this as well, so you can angle it really wherever you want it. You know, most of them you see, they drip, yep. you know, for a couple minutes. Oh, even. yeah. It's positive shut off. Yeah. Quality. This is definitely better than like in our bath now. I'm just in a corner of my hair, trying yeah. to wash my hair on the ground. That's not great. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't have any issues here. No, this is amazing. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, this is incredible. That's 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 the best ready shower I've seen. I've put in a bunch. Yeah. yeah. It's a storm shower. <laughs> and that's right about 12 pounds too. It's just solid breath. I I have a little bum that I didn't get to hold it before it went up. I can only imagine what that felt like. It's a brick. Yeah. Are, are any of the other hardware like the ladder and all that? Yeah, we actually have um, your toilet paper holder and the rope hook and the towel bar. Oh yeah. What's that? It's open like this. Mm -hmm. Feel that. What is this? Hold two hands. Oh. <laughs> That's I think eight hundred. Is this a toilet paper holder? Yep. Wow, what type of toilet paper are we using? <laughs> this is so nice. Wow. I love that everything matches so well too. Yeah. And there's yeah. tons of little details. And this is the well, like towel hook will do. The knurling, I'm a big fan of the knurling. Yep. This was serial number one. Really? The first ever production. In existence, yeah. So you guys haven't done like a bathrooms. shower? Bathrooms. Yeah, okay, they haven't done bathrooms, like bathroom yeah. Stuff? yeah. Yeah, we That's were cool. for the last 24 years just solely kitchen. Cool. And then Chris wanted to jump into the bath. And you know, one of the things that's different is Chris is the owner of Waterstone, the founder of it, mm -hmm. and he's also the designer of all the pieces in the collection. So it's kind of kind of interesting. And he loves the process too, the machining, designing, the engineering. So it's not about just the finished product. But all of them. There's such yeah. synergy between like our brands and their brand. It's the same story, you know. It's that How did pursuit you find of. Waterston? Um, Chris. Yeah, I actually reached out to him um, right after I saw the first video because yeah. the wheel and our split finish reminded me of the Z. Yeah. You yeah. know, with the gold wheels and everything. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was going to be perfect for in here, and then we got closer to to Argonaut and. It's perfect fit in here and we were thrilled to be able to do it usually something like this it like takes matt like 20 tries to find a company like this mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. skipped a lot of frustration mm -hmm. this is legit yeah yeah no thank you guys yes yeah, yeah. it's the dream well I'm, I'm glad that we're gonna have something here that's gonna last you guys a lifetime so. oh yeah Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, no, thank you. The problem is, is you can't go backward from here. This is like oh, being a, this is like being a, a, a eighteen year old getting a Ferrari. You know, start. <laughs> it's cheating. It's it's getting a titanium done in exhaust. You can't go back from that. Nope, nope, can't. Is the uh, is the kitchen? Um, hardware here. Have you seen it? No. Oh shoot! You guys, here I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Wait here. 
So Colette, you haven't seen the sink yet, have you? Oh, yeah, we've seen it, it's not in. Yeah, so, you know, the sink has multiple tiers. And then, you know, obviously the faucet's gonna go right there. Super sick, so it covers the whole, you know, face of the cabinet. The dish, dishwasher goes right here. And then, um, we'll probably store all the accessories. When we, oh, this is the garbage, garbage cabinet. So check this sucker out. This packaging is next level. I love the color on this. Wow. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. Uh, I want to break it. I do know. it. Should do we it. Just do it. Put yeah. this somewhere where we won't use it. We just look at it. I feel like we, it's like it is. A yeah. Part. Well, don't you worry. It's gonna stand up. Whatever you do to it, it's got yeah. a lifetime warranty. So. Yeah. Oh my god. Give it your Yeah. Yeah. For most people, the centerpiece of their house isn't their faucet. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. In our world, it's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is True. this the, the brass finish? It is called Classic Bronze. And it oh, matches your like classic colors. Bronze. Like, yeah. I know, this is perfect. And so then here is the soap dispenser. <laughs> it's made out of brass as well, solid brass. I'm so glad we did the two tone, mm -hmm. the two color on this one. Yeah. It looks amazing. Love it. Is there any special care instructions or just use it? Yeah, they'll be on, you just use mild soap and water on something like this. Oh, great. But this is a very hard powder coated matte black finish. Yeah. So it'd be hard to do anything to that. But just, again, just take care of it like you would anything. And how do you achieve the, is this the powder coat as well? The brass finish? Yes. That's cool. Yep, that is a spray on, baked on type of finish. Is it like a clear, like translucent It'll clear? It'll have a coat over the gold part there. Mm -hmm. It'll have a, like a coating over it for... So this is the air switch for the garbage disposal. That turns on your garbage disposal. Oh, we have a garbage disposal? Mm hmm. That's sick. <laughs> and you push a button and it goes on. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's so cool. What? The garbage disposal. Why? You draw a set. We want to put in uh, the garbage disposal that dispenses bacteria into the system. Yeah, Chris, don't be such a buzzkill. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is definitely, I think this is one of my favorites. Yeah. For sure, this is beautiful. You we have yeah. the same finish on uh, some of the chairs as well, or some of the furniture, so between that, the lights, this is... Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Laurel will probably put all that together. It looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that same spring technology that was in the uh, freestanding tub filler there is it's actually in built into that. Okay. And yeah, this right here, this cap, just so you guys know, inside here, this is actually a high-end seatbelt retractor spring, hmm. and everything we do is patented. So this is actually from a high-end car, and huh. it is all engineered and designed by Waterstone. Hold, so. Just hold that decorative cap, too. That's just yeah, purely that's a... Yeah, that's just a cap. Wow. You know what I mean? Which is a bar stock machine. This is dipped. Oh, no, sorry. They're both sprayed in just different boots, basically. When you do a split finish, we have a matte black boot. Then we'll have a classic bronze booth and a different color, and we spray the different pieces, and then it's all assembled by women at Waterstone. Cool. Wow. Women do all the assembling. They also do all of our custom hand relief finishing as well. Yeah, go women. Go women. <laughs> this so, is so cool. So this is definitely a piece of art. No wonder it's so beautiful. Functional art. Yes. That is crazy. Yeah, thank you guys. This is amazing. I can't wait to see it with everything else in here too. Oh, we can't either. <laughs> and a trap door. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Door comes through to here, and then the uppers are in as well. And then this guy. Yeah, I haven't checked these out yet. Sick. Old school, but legit. So this is like the pro. This is like what you would do if you were a I'm laundromat. Yeah. At this. <laughs> I'll give you a, yeah, I'll give you one. So there's a lot of... A lot of options. Yeah. yeah. You, you could say, hey Siri, wash my clothes? No, not on this. Come on. This, is, old. this is old school. I'm so sad because they just came out with, like after we ordered, a black one. Really? Would have been sick, but it's better the white, with the, the white. white yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the upstairs bathroom's done too. Is it? What's this? Almost done. We, we're doing a, we have to do a new piece up to the ceiling. Got it. Oh, the upstairs with my vessel sink? Yes. Oh, that's so exciting. That's all good. Mm. I love this bathroom. Even like, like all these, like they match black and you have a black handle and stuff. It's super cool. I've never seen that before where the tubing is hard instead of just like a little little rope, like a little steel cable type. I love this bathroom. 
this one. Is... And it'll look a little different when we get the lights in here. You know, these are the old lights. I haven't, done, oh, light. yeah, I haven't done the lights yet in here. So you have a light, light, light. Yeah, it's good. That's the toilet. All of our Mayan critters are gone. Yeah. Been gone, but if you want any grits, it's great. That's great. Yeah, I think this is the biggest transformation. Yeah, in a day. Yeah, it didn't look like this a day ago. His fan wasn't in, lights weren't in, our stairs cabinets weren't in. Stairs are the week of the 12th. So, stairs two weeks. Really good job. Uh, so I found out my specialty. It's to put blank covers on. On what? On anything that needs a blank cover. See, there's one there. I did three of them up here. One there. One over here. One over here. It only took me one hour each. You can't get electrocuted when you do that. People are going to be like, hey, what's this button do? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. What's it turn off? Is this broken? You want me to say something? You all right? Yeah, it's your, you had your cheese. What are those called? Cheese cubes? Yep, I'm good. Sargento in your bubbly. You got my steak ready to go. Yeah, you got your steak ready? Yeah. It took, a day, took a, day, a couple of days off of steak. I'm ready for another one. Yeah. What did you have last night? It's hot dogs. Gross. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Nope. So we're making progress. So I had to lay out how I'm going to set up the master uh, TV. Um, the Waterstone guys are heading back home, so yep, mission done. accomplished there. Yep. We got water on, we got hot water. We don't have hot water yet. I've got to do the electrical hot, the electric hot water heater. I'm going to do that now. We got, um, I got to go out and dump my coach, put some water what, in Which it. one? Black or gray? Uh, I'm going to be inside <laughs> here if you do black. <laughs> I know you were talking about doing black and then doing a flusheroo with the gray. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a little test here. What, Scott said there's something I need to flip off. Yeah, you gotta do it by hand. So you have to put your, there's a manual. So you can do a quick, yeah, see what okay. comes out. That's what I'm gonna do, just to see how. If solids come out, just shut it really quickly. There's no solids. You, you think. Well, we don't know who, solids. Well, you may not have, but maybe someone before you might have. No, Scott flushed it before he came. He did? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'll just give it a little couple of bumps, get me down to 60. I feel like if I had 60%, I'd be good to go. You just, you have 30%. Yeah. If it holds, if it holds 50 gallons, that's 15 gallons of storage you still have. Mm -hmm. That's 15 flush, that's 15 days. Mm -hmm. I did one flush a day. Mm -hmm. And I don't think those toilets are a gallon. Yeah. They're pretty minimal. Mm -hmm. And probably half a gallon. Mm. Yeah. Wrapping up the day, I didn't do so great today. I mean, I had, I was planning on having just, just steak, oops, and eggs, and I had some cheese and stuff in between. But uh, yeah, make sure you go, uh, if you wanna watch tomorrow, see what Mike and I get into tomorrow, and uh, east side, east side will be here, the plumbers are done for the time being. The water guys from Waterstone went home, but if you wanna watch what we get into, we're gonna be digging into electrical a lot tomorrow. Uh, go become a member inside the hex. This is my ploy to get you to go over there and sign up. But uh, hope you've been enjoying the series. It's been a lot of fun to uh, see this massive progress. It's all coming together. We have a few more weeks of this and then we're on to the next one. We just um, signed up uh, or just decided to put together a really awesome series, so stay tuned for that as well. We have an awesome series coming in on the garage giveaway uh, that uh, we're going to put together and obviously we have Lena's Outdoor Kitchen, we have the new OGHQ, we have Fred's Garage we're going out to, so lots of cool stuff coming. And I'll be doing behind the scenes stuff inside the Hex as well. So we'll see you, uh, I guess I'll see you inside the Hex tomorrow for those of you who are there. If not, we'll see you uh, two days from now. Hopefully with a lot of progress. Thanks for watching. Sconce, Mike. Sconce. It's like a Schluter style sconce. Because they're, you know, it's made out of the same stuff as Schluter, Mike. A lot of sconces.